how are you going to do it? Uh, hey guys, uh, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Mark Daroka. I'm a freshman here at Cal State Long Beach, and it's also uh, my first year here at PAC. Um, but I'd also like to say that I'm an international student, and uh, this is actually a big thing for me because uh, culture is such a big impact, has had a big impact on my life. Um, for the last 18 years, basically, I haven't been living in the Philippines uh, or anywhere in the States. This is actually my first year here in the U.S. And it's such a big influence on me because uh, knowing cultures in general is such a big deal for me. And being a person, uh, well, I consider myself third culture because I'm not only a Filipino, but I also consider myself a, a person in the world because I've lived in the Middle East, I've come to the U.S., and I've go gone to international school my entire life. And um, a few credentials about me. Um, Back in high school, I was part of something called Model United Nations, which is basically um, a mock, un mock United Nations. And what we do is we research on different types of countries, cultures. And I basically led that uh, the final three years of my high school career. And uh, I have traveled to, to a lot of countries. I've gone to uh, different places in the Middle East. I've gone to Turkey. I've gone to uh, Hong Kong when I was younger. And all of these, all these places have made a cultural impact because knowing culture is something it's such a big deal for me because without culture, you know, you lose your identity. Um, even though I have been living in the Middle East my entire life, uh, I always have stuck to my Filipino culture and all my roots. Um, and that's something that's really important to me because um, whenever somebody asks me where I'm from, I don't tell them, uh, oh yeah, you know, I start off with saying I'm Filipino because it's something I'm really proud of. And the Filipino identity for me is, uh, especially being in the Middle East, and being Filipino, it's hard to actually say out loud that you're Filipino because what they consider their, you there as is somebody who's not really insignificant. But I still took pride in me being Filipino. And, you know, I wanted to teach people uh, about my culture. And I have a ton of friends who love, who love coming over, meeting my parents, and learning about our own culture. And uh, my culture is like, I want to do it through food, through uh, cultural lessons, but I want to take it to the next step and allow people to understand about why it's so important to understand why you, you want to consider yourself Filipino. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for hearing my speech today.